from somewhere in Hollywood. It's the, 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 the Tom Micah Show. Oh, my God. And now, and now, here he is, Tom Likas. Thank you for tuning in to the Tom Likas Show. This is where America gets together to talk about the issues you really care about. It's a different kind of radio talk program. We're the radio talk show that aims. Not hosted by a right-wing whacker or a convicted felon. No. I am your host. Write down our toll-free telephone number. You're going to need it. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. Thank you for tuning in. Thanks for being part of our program. And uh, many of you, many of you, sent me this story. You know, being a billionaire does not convey social skills or basic interactive smarts. It does not convey sound judgment. All it means is that, for example, in the case of the person we're going to talk about, you're a very bright, geeky guy who had a great idea, or ten, and you created a big, multi-billion dollar business. It doesn't mean you're smart at anything else. And as anybody who's met a member of Mensa or other geeky, intelligent people that can tell you the vast majority of those people, have very little in the way of social skills and don't always make good personal decisions based on social interaction. Here it is. Silicon Valley's richest bachelor is getting married next month. The co-founder of Google Incorporated, Larry Page, whose stake in the Internet search leader is worth about 20 billion dollars. And somebody named Lucy Southworth are tying the knot in a ceremony scheduled for the weekend of December 8th, according to a report published in the San Francisco Chronicle. Page, 34, is following in the footsteps of Google's other founder, Sergey Brin, who married a woman who has way too many consonants in her last name, Anne Wojcicki, I'm guessing. He married Anne Wojcicki six months ago in an exclusive ceremony in the Caribbean. The location of Southworth's and Page's wedding was not disclosed. By the way, and if you're a Google shareholder, you might make a note of this. After Bryn's wedding, Google, you know what Google did? Google invested $3.9 million in his new wife's biotechnology startup, 23andMe Incorporated. Now, understand, Mr. Brin was once a private owner, along with Mr. Page of Google Incorporated. But then at some point in time, they sold stock to the public. That's how they became billionaires. So this is now a publicly traded company. And one of his first moves after getting married was to invest. Is, is this a conflict of interest? Just asking a question here. Is there something wrong with this? All right. It's a publicly held corporation, and you get married to somebody, and they have a startup company. So your company, the one that, that you're at and you're the founder of, but many, many members of the public have invested their personal money in it. You go ahead and say, all right, honey, now I'm going to invest $3.9 million in your company. 
doesn't sound right to me. I'm not an investor in Google. Maybe this is one of the reasons why. Says here, Southworth was a biomedical informatics doctoral student at Stanford University, where both Page and Brin were studying as graduate students before leaving to start Google in 1998. Page has been dating Southworth for more than a year. Ooh, more than a year. Ooh. Well, give her half a billion dollars for that. Because if they get divorced, that's probably what she'll get. Says here the invitation list to Page's wedding is expected to include many of Google's current and former employees, as well as San Francisco Mayor Gavin Newsom. There's a guy who respects uh, holy matrimony. And billionaire Richard Branson, founder of the Virgin Group. Former Vice President Al Gore, a senior advisor at Google, told the Chronicle he has been invited to the wedding but won't be able to make it because he'll be busy picking up the Nobel Peace Prize at a ceremony in Oslo, Norway. God, that's the greatest excuse of all time. I'd love to come to Thanksgiving, but I'm busy picking up the Nobel Peace Prize. Send my regards, okay? Yes, I'd love to come to your Christmas party, but I'm going to be in Oslo, Norway. Oh, yes, I've got to do a little pickup. Oh, nothing. The Nobel Peace Prize. Said here, by the way, because he did invent the Internet, as we all know, uh, Al Gore uh, st said he still hopes to make an appearance at the wedding through video conferencing. <laughs> You're kidding me, right? Holy cow. Yikes. Now, come on. You may know how to tell people how to find 832,612 mentions of their name on the Internet, pal. But was this really the smartest thing to do? You are a multi-billionaire. Why in the world would you want to get married? Does this make sense? Let me ask you a question. If you were worth $20 billion, Dollars, and you lived in the state of California with community property, would you marry anybody? I mean anybody. I mean, does that make sense to you? You're worth $20 billion and you get married. It doesn't make any sense. I don't care if you're in love. This is $20 billion. And she could end up getting a big piece of that if things don't work out. I mean, this doesn't make any sense at all. Please tell me, would you do this? You came up with the idea for Google. <laughs> I'm, I'm blown away by this. You came up with the idea for Google. And so you meet some chick uh, when you're at school and you start dating her. You're dating her for a year. And you decide, you know what, let's get married. I mean, seriously speaking, would you do it? And granted, you might make $40,000 a year and uh, you work as a mechanic or something. That's fine. You know, maybe you need a roommate. Maybe you need somebody to help you pay the rent. Okay. But you're not. You're the co-founder of Google. Would you take the risk of giving half of that money away, please? Tell me. Tom like it. What's up, Tom? Tom like it. You're my boy, man. 800 800 Tom, Tom, Tom. Tom! The Tom Like It Show. The Tom Like a sh Show at one eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. Larry Page, co-founder of Google, worth twenty billion dollars at last check. 
is getting married. Why? 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Kathleen on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, darling. I love you. Love your show. Absolutely no way I would get married. No way. Let alone go out with one person at one time. So, in other words, you're admitting what I've always said, which is that marriage is for poor people. Marriage is for people who need a roommate. Or convenience. Or have to have a name for my, you know, my baby's daddy's name or, or whatever. There'd be absolutely no way I would be dating one person or, or having to pay anybody's bills or, or have anybody get any part of my money. There is absolutely no way. I'd be having a great old time and buy all those hot dogs. Yeah, well, but see, then you and I are in agreement that marriage is for poor people who can't afford uh, to pay the rent or would like to split the grocery bill with somebody. But it's not for rich people or smart people. It's just not. It, absolutely. Or, you know, or convenience. Or take, you know, you did a subject yesterday about taking care of people taking care of uh, the other day about people taking care of other people. It's like, I don't need anybody to take care of me. You know, I got money for that. I don't right. need a man. You don't need a man. And, and if... And if that guy's crazy, let alone be going with one woman, I mean, give me a break. He could have anybody he wants. He could have all the punani he wanted. Why, why settle for just one? Yep, yep, I agree with you. And again, it proves my point. Marriage is for poor people. Why would a rich person want to get married at this point? By the way, I'm well aware that many very successful, very rich people do get married and have gotten married. And, and they're clearly thinking with the wrong head. Why would you ever get married if you have lots and lots of money? It makes no sense. With divorce laws the way they are in this country, you'd be insane to want to get married. Marina on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hello, it's Marina. I just said that. Yes, okay. Actually, I think he's right to get married because he knows this girl when he was dirt poor. So she liked him back then. And yeah, was she really wasn't dating? Wait, 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 wait. She wasn't yeah. dating him back then. Apparently, what I read on Google was that they were very good friends. and she But they were not dating. Then. I'm reading you the story. They were not dating. Yes. But They've been dating for a year. Yes, they're dating for a year, but they've been flirting with each other. I don't care what kind of flirting years. they were doing. She finally gave him access to her genitalia when he had $20 billion. But probably she didn't want it after. Oh, stop that. it. Oh, please. Oh, come no, on. It's good. She likes him. Oh, yeah, well, was I, again, turn in your testicles if you meet somebody you're attracted to and you don't want access to their genitalia. Well, probably he was too involved with his job. He was What? Probably he was too involved with his business. What, he's not involved with his job now? Uh, probably not as much, probably He's now the CEO of a publicly traded corporation. He's probably busier than ever. Well, you never know, but the fact is that she was good to him when he was poor. It doesn't mean he should give her that money. Well, it doesn't matter because for him, half a it billion It does dollars. matter. Yes, it does. You know, just because you have money doesn't mean it's there to be given to people so they'll love you. Well, but probably she'll give him kids. And also, she's super hot. She's well, I haven't seen a picture of her. Have you seen her? She's Yeah, she's blonde, tall, slim. She looks like a supermodel, but, be but better. She's uh -huh. but the, so, oh, so then he, he should pay for it because she looks like a supermodel. Yes. Ah, I see. Because this supermodel liked him when he was poor. So, therefore, he should pay for that. Not pay for it. Just spend the life, his life with her. Why not? He will have beautiful children, definitely. With her DNA, they will be absolutely gorgeous. So he should pay for that? Not pay for it. He's not paying for it. He's getting married. They yeah, but, but 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 getting married means you're paying. You are paying to get to get somebody to love you. No, probably she loves him anyway. I mean, he's an adorable guy. He's not. He's not handsome, but he's. But that's not the point. When you've got twenty smart. billion dollars, you can have sex with anyone you want to, and then you never actually have to put out. You never have to give them any money. But she liked him before he was 
rich. That is the We question. don't know how much he liked him because they've only been dating for a year in the era in which he had $20 billion. But apparently they know each other for way too long back when he was... It really doesn't matter. Old. I don't care how long I know somebody. It doesn't entitle to even half a billion dollars. No. Well, everybody's entitled of an opinion. But I think he's doing the right thing because at the end of the day, every woman will use him these days because he's... Oh, so right. therefore he should be used by someone who's attractive rather than no, being used by somebody else. Well, I'm glad you admit that every woman is out there to use men with money. Thank you for admitting that. No, I'm not admitting that. You just did. No, I'm just saying that there is a slight chance that this girl actually lied him and they had some kind of a connection before he was raped. I don't care if so they had a connection before. It's irrelevant. It's irrelevant. Well, you know, everybody has an opinion. But I think he's doing the right thing. And even if you lose a half a billion along the way, if you're worth it, at least he'll learn from his mistakes. By the way, those teeth on that chick, she's, she's showing a lot of gum. The gum? Well, she, she's cute. She's hot. She's well, you just cute. said she was a supermodel. There's no supermodel with a mouth like that. Actually, Paulina Pereskova, um, she's a very old supermodel, but she had the big gums, too. Um, you know, sometimes the big gums. Have, she really looks good. Again, I mean, you're, you're saying she looks good for a geek like that who has $20 billion. I think she looks good for everybody. I mean, she's blonde. Which is important, especially. I, I, that right? doesn't look supermodel like to me. Well, I don't I mean, know. I'm not saying she's unattractive, and she's surprisingly attractive, but I wouldn't say supermodel. I'm looking at her right now on the internet. I'm not, uh, I'm well, not overwhelmed. She's, she's I'll tell you what, that's not worth half. I want to tell you something. That's not worth half a billion dollars. Well, you know, everybody has different tastes. You know, when you go and look yeah, at Yeah, so what you believe is that marriage is so that a man can drop half a billion dollars on a chick for burying his kids. That's great. <laughs> well, everybody has a opinion, but it was nice talking to you, and I think he's doing the right I'm, thing. I'm sure it was nice talking to me. I'm sure right. it was. Have a very good night. Aye, right, darling. Bye, right, Tom. All right. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Javier? On the Tom Likas show, hello. Hello, Tom. Hello. How are you? Do you care? Yes, I do, Father. I'm doing great. Good. Good to hear that. Well, listen, Tom, you said $20 billion? That's what he's worth. Oh, my goodness. Are you serious? Like, this guy, he's an idiot, right? I mean, he can have basically any girl he wants, any time of the week. He can have them lined up, and he decides that he wants to settle down with one and besides like he's only known her for over a year a little they've been dating for over, over a year and most likely there's a high rate that they're going to get divorced anyway she's going to take all his money or ha most of his money and he's just an idiot he's stupid he's going to lose his money and why would you want to just give your money away like that or that's what i'm people? saying yeah, marriage is for wanna... poor people it's for poor people exactly. who, who can't afford to pay the rent. Exactly. I mean, yeah, it's good for her. I mean, she just didn't get some more money. But for him, he is stupid. That's the worst thing you can do right now, especially when you have $20 billion, or when you're worth $20 billion. Uh, exactly. I, if I had $20 billion, I'd let women look at it, smell it, touch it, but never have it. Exactly. Exactly. Do what, you just got to do what you got to do and leave them. Right. Move on to the next one, like you, yes. say, like you always say. Right. Exactly, man. I don't know what this guy's thinking, but I just wanted to say that, Tom, because when you said that, I, I was just going crazy over here. I'm but, sure um, you were, because I know, I know I've been going crazy since all the listeners sent that story in. Aisha on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hi, Tom. Oh, my God. I, <laughs> I am so sad. I am so sad by what I'm hearing right now. Like, this Why? is, oh, my goodness. You guys are ridiculous. Like, okay, first of all, marriage does not mean that you're giving away money. Yes, it does. No. If you're a man in California, okay, wait, no, that's no, wait, what it I, means. No. I oh, agree. yes. I agree that in today's society... Too many people place emphasis on let me get married to, to a rich guy, break up with him, get a divorce, and take his money. But that is today's society. That is not how marriage was intended to be. It was not. Well, I don't care how it was intended to be. This is how it is today. Yes, but you 
know what sucks about it, though, is that not every woman is like that. It doesn't matter. Most are. And the law no, allows them not, and, in fact, true. encourages them to be like that. No, but that's not true. Oh, of course it's I, true. I have, okay, I have all of my girlfriends. All, I don't know, darling, again, I don't, you know, don't bring up the all of my girlfriends uh, excuse. No, because, no, of course, no. your girlfriends are like you. It doesn't matter what you and your girlfriends are no, like. What matters is I'm... how all the women in the world are and all the women in America okay. are. So and in general, met, they I mean, take advantage. This... They take advantage of the law and they take oh. as much as they can get. No, but what's funny about that is that the finger is always pointed on women. And it's never pointed on men. Because yes. men men don't get big divorce settlements. Other other than my hero, Kevin Federline, there's not a lot of guys out there well, getting you know big what? money. You know what? My hero is Britney Spears. I mean, because... Do you know why the Kevin Federline story is such a big story? It's man bites dog. Men don't get settlements like that. That's why it's news. Women no, get but... settlements like that every day of the week. They don't make the paper. Right. But you know what's funny is Kevin Federline is a perfect example of a man marrying a woman for money. But she again, the, the, why is that news? Simple. Women do it every day. Why is no, that news? It's but news. Women, it's news because no, it almost what, never though? happens. Don't you, you know understand? What, you know what, though? I honestly, I blame, I, no, I'm not blaming anyone, but I think the reason why the tides have turned like that and the reason why our society is like that is because it's a total disillusion of no one has the values anymore of, you know what? Actually, I don't care what the reason is. No, but, I, but what? I don't care. But this is what I think, though. How do you solve that? Like, I, think, I'm not in the solving business. I'm in no, the telling but, people how to survive with what is business. Why is, but the thing that I think is, what if, let's do a hypothetical, what if she actually is not a gold digger? Well, hey, what, you know if, what, are, what, what if I jumped paper. off the Empire State Building and lived? What if that happened? No, you know what? People have done Speaking it. hypothetically, what if, I, what if I jumped off uh, the top of the tallest building in downtown Los Angeles? This is the thing, Tom. That's irrational to say there is no woman like that out there. I didn't say there is no woman like that. I said You're there are so fine. few, it's not worth getting married to find them. No, but the, oh my God. Okay, this is the thing. Marriage is not intended to get married to get money. That is and what it is. That is what it has been no, turned into, not. and that is now what it is. But it's not. And well, this, if you love somebody, you don't need to sign a contract. You don't. No, but it's not a contract. It is a contract. For, my, hey, my parents it are is a contract. It no. is a legal document, yes, and it's enforceable in court like any other legal contract. Yes, it is a legal document, but this is my point. It's a this, contract. This guy, the Google guy, he could be one of the guys who's actually like, you know what? We don't know his relationship with her. He's a fool. No, we don't, no, no, uh, no, my no, opinion is that the guy is a fool. No, he is not a fool. Of course he is. No, I don't think he is. I disagree with that because well, we don't know either one of them. Let's, I mean, honestly, I've never met him. He's woman. going to he's have to pay her even, even if, by the way, even if they part as friends, he's going to have to pay her money. Okay, I understand that. Why should he have to do that? I don't think he should. To be honest, I, I agree with that. I don't. But think that's how it is, and that is yeah. what will happen if this marriage does not work out. He will have to pay money. Yes, but I still don't think he is a fool for still wanting to get married. Of course he is. I don't. I don't because you know what? People forget about the fact that there is such a thing. I know it seems crazy in today's world, and oh my God, who believes in it anymore? But there's a thing called love. All there right. Is. So if you love somebody, why do you need the state of California to put their raised seal on your marriage certificate? Why no, can't you just love that. them? I I agree with that. All right, great. So there's no need to get married, especially if you're the co-founder of Google. You shouldn't be doing it. No, I think there is still a need to get married. No, there I, isn't a I, need to get married. What is the need? Because I don't. Okay, because women I, need this, this money, need. lots no, and lots of money. That's why there's a need. No, there's not a need. I look at. I, I think it's like the dedication and the. I don't know the comfort of being married. With like, what comfort? My, Anybody can get divorced. There is no guarantee in being married. There is no, there is no guarantee. Getting divorced is easy. That's why you don't need a marriage. Because if getting divorced oh, is easy, I, you don't need to get married. I think you do need a marriage. Like I, I am. Why? I, I don't know. Okay, I'm single right now. 
I honestly cannot wait to find someone that I could spend the rest of my life with and call my husband. I, I think it would be Well, great. I understand that, but the thing is that whether you decide to take the money you're entitled to under the law or not, uh, finding a husband means you will have found somebody who's agreeing to give you money. No. Yes. No. Oh, yes. Not true. Oh, this yes. I don't even, but the thing is, there are women, there are women out here who do not take that into consideration, like myself. Uh, there fine. Are in between, fine, but, but guess what? There's very few of them. I just like man women. bites dog occasionally, or Kevin Federline is a man who gets money from a woman, which is like, okay, wow, that never happens. But, that it, happen. but, he, but it's but, rare. If it were not it rare, rare, it would not be a story in the newspaper. No, it is rare, but the thing is... So that's my point. I don't. The fact that it happens occasionally doesn't mean it happens regularly, and therefore it, it isn't even worth discussing. But you know what I think also? I think the reason why you have so many women that are out here getting with guys and they, they're automatically expecting, expecting a divorce, you know, like sometime within the next... I don't know, how, how long do people stay married now? Like two years, three years, five years is a long time. It's because of the fact, I think, that men have also devalued marriage. Marriage not, has no value. It is a, it is a, a contract no, to give women no, money. I think, no, no. I oh, yes. Think the reason why oh, have, yes. I think the reason why women have been, a lot of the women in society have been driven to being you know, quote unquote gold diggers is the fact that when you when you're around men and all like even got no guy wants to get married automatic. They just don't. It's not in your DNA. We human beings are animals. Men just want to have sex. That's what right. it comes down to. Men just and, wanna have sex. That yeah. I told you that's gonna be my song to the tune of Girls Just Wanna it, Have Fun. That's right. It should be a song. No, it should be a song. Should be a song. I want women to understand, because you know what? If we sang it as a song, women would start to understand that that's the reality. No, that is the reality. I'm not much of a singer, but we're going to find listeners who can perform that song. But you know what's sad, though, Tom? I'll tell you what's sad. It's sad that that is the sad truth. I don't care how sad. It's the sad truth. Therefore, it's the truth. And if it's the truth, then men have to deal with what is, not what should be, could be, would be, ought to be. Right. Forget it. We have to deal with what is, and what is is getting married means giving women money. I don't. I I disagree. I don't, I don't care if you are one of the infinitesimal exceptions, like Kevin I Federline on the other that. side. It doesn't right. matter. Right. But the thing is, Tom, I feel like women still. But there are women who still. The reason why women deny that men only want sex, like we deny it to the bare, we'll deny it to the grave, is because we still have that foolish naivete that tells us, you know what, maybe, maybe I can find a guy that's different. Maybe he can be focused and get married to me and, hey, actually stay married. And, hey, maybe it's not about money. Maybe it's about two people actually coming together and building a life. But the point is, if it doesn't work out, women get money, lots yeah. of money. But but that's not true. That's yes, it, it is that, true. It is problem. true. It that's is true. You can problem. say, I don't want the money. I'm not interested in the money. Don't give me the money. Don't talk to me about it. You can say that. But the law allows you to get lots and lots of money. Right. And but the vast talking? majority of women take what they can get. No, they do. Oh, no, they don't. Talking? Oh, they do. So you just no, admitted it. it's true. So no, there's nothing they, left. No, there's no, nothing they, left they, to argue. There, uh, listen to me, dear. There's nothing left to argue. You just admitted that what I'm saying is true, that the vast majority of women take and take and take. Yes, marriage should be all about love and it should be all about romance, but it's not. It's about money. Lots and lots of money. Ask any divorce attorney and he'll tell you. Tom Likis. 1-800-5800-866. Tom Likis. 1-800-5800-TOM. You're a pussy. Hey, thanks. It's the Tom Likis Show. Woo! It's the Tom Likis Show. I'm 1-800-5800-TOM. The co-founder of Google, Larry Page, worth about $20 billion dollars is getting married on December 8th, according to the San Francisco Chronicle. Why would any guy with $20 billion in California get married? I mean, does this make any sense to you at all? And this is clearly somebody who needs 101. 
just no doubt about it. You know, you see these guys. Kobe Bryant was one example. No prenup. <laughs> All the other ones we've talked about on this program. Why? Why? Marriage is when you're in college and you got no money and the two of you are going to uh, put into the pot to pay the rent. And even then, I don't recommend it to guys, but come on. It makes a lot more sense for poor people who are planning on breeding <laughs> than it does for rich guys with billions of dollars or even millions of dollars. Are you kidding me? Adam on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hey, what's up, Tom? Not much. Good. Dude, I totally agree with you. This guy is a complete idiot. I mean, with $20 million, man, you should not be marrying anybody. I mean, you should be just going to different countries, going wherever you wanted to go, bang who you want to bang, you know, and just the only thing you have to worry about is having an ice pack, you know. And and <laughs> and, 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 and some penicillin. Yeah, really. But it's even further your story, and it especially goes back to that last girl who sounded like she had a gigantic mouth who just doesn't shut up. Look at the stories that are in the news right now. Heather Mills going after Paul McCartney. They they offered her a hundred million and she turned it down. Look at Michael Jordan. Didn't her, his wife just get like a hundred and fifty, hundred sixty million? A hundred and sixty eight million dollars, I yeah. believe. So don't tell me that. Oh no, they're not going to go after the money. It is a complete load. She is probably most likely with this, when they get divorced because it's going to happen. She'll probably go down in history of having one of the richest settlements. She is going to get just back the Brinks truck up. Yeah. It, it's insane. Yeah, it's a guy. The guy is a complete fool. It, it's just, you know, there isn't a vagina in the world worth paying that kind of money for access. There just isn't. No, no, it better be doing tricks or something. But not even that much. <laughs> so I mean, anyway, Tom, I just got my point, dude. Uh, blow me up. I'll blow you up, baby. Here you go. One eight hundred five eight hundred. Tom is our telephone number. Aaron. You're on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hey, Tom. First time caller, long time yeah. listener. How are yeah. you doing? Great. Uh, I just wanted to point something out. You made a comment earlier about uh, people that maybe would be concerned about, you know, if these guys broke up, you know, how the company would go because she'd be entitled to half his money. One thing that that article actually does not mention that if you do a little bit more research is that they do have a prenup. And, uh, in fact, the, 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 the co-founders of, uh, of Google – do not have salaries. Their salaries are one dollar, and they get paid strictly in stock options. And none of their stock options are uh, going to be available as settlement resources if they do get divorced. What if they receive stock options after they get married? None of the none of none of Google stock is open to uh, to like negotiating the, the 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 settlement for divorce. So what does she get? Whatever other side investments he has, if he owns a house, you know, anything else, you know, that is not tied directly to the assets of the company, she'd be entitled to half of that. I Again, I think if you've got that, by the way, what is he going to buy, a $20 million house? Oh, I, 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 I'm not saying that she's not going to walk away with a lot of money. I'm, I just wanted to make sure. you won't be the stock. Here's the other thing. Yeah, if, he sells, the if he sells the stock, and by the way, uh, people who have that much stock always sell stock, if only for tax reasons over the course of time or estate planning or whatever. If he sells the stock and it goes into their joint bank account with the checks for the cute little puppy dogs and kitty cats on it, uh, it then that's half the hurt. Money. But that's my point. No, <laughs> no, I, I totally agree with you. I mean, whether I, she gets the stock that's... as stock or whether she gets the stock after it's cashed in, a lot of that's going to find its way into her bank account. Yeah, but then the stock will go back to the shareholders. It's my point that I'm trying to raise. I'm not trying to say that he's making a wise choice in any way. I'm just trying to make the point that you know, if these guys get divorced, it's not like tomorrow she's going to get uh, like if he owns fifty percent of Google, she's not going to get a quarter. That's of true. Google. Well, you make a good point, and you're absolutely right. That's true. One eight hundred five eight hundred. Tom is our telephone number. Sandra, on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hi, how are you, Tom? I'm great, Sandra. Well, I agree with you a thousand percent. If I had twenty billion dollars, I don't care how hot of a guy was to walk into my friend door. I don't care how big his thing was. There's no way I would marry him. And I think this guy's a fool. The last guy had a good point, but if they get divorced, 
she can make him sell his stock and get the money, like you said. Once it's turned into cash, she can get a piece of it. And if you think about it, after it's funny that you're talking about this today because of this morning the entertainment news headline read, Michael Jordan is giving his wife $168 million in a divorce settlement. I mean, with all these headlines in Hollywood and it's like record-breaking and all these things, I feel uneasy thinking, you know, I have all this money and somebody's going to take me for a ride, even if she gets, a, you know, $1 billion out of the $20 billion he's worth today, 10 years from now. That's 5% of what he's worth. That's right. That's a lot of money. That's a lot of money for being just married to somebody, for laying on your back a couple of nights a week, you know? <laughs> That's right. <laughs> I, I just don't know how married people would do that, especially with prenup or, you know, with, you know, a bad prenup. I, I don't understand how LeBron James is married at years old and has two kids already. Kobe Bryant has no prenup. That's why these girls stay with them just like Michael Jordan's wife did because they've had problems for years because they know sooner or later they're going to cash in. And they're going to break the bank with I, that big check they're going to take to the bank. I think you're absolutely right, Sandra, and I thank you for that. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. This is Fran on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hello, Father. Hello, son. Dino is my uncle right now. He just got me a free beer at a bar in Hermosa. How did that happen? He told me to ask this girl, uh, this little blonde named Tessa, I believe. So I'm going to try that out on Saturday. Very nice. Um... About this guy, he, one, he's an idiot for getting married, having so much money. Just tell and him also, Dino sent you. And also, he's also an idiot because even if this guy was poor, who gets married after one year of being with a girl? Well, that's what I'm saying. He's an idiot. And, and even if you're going to get married after one, uh, you know, after one year, about five years. Yeah, or just never. Or never. Never is my yeah. preference, yes. Also, Tom, this is off the topic. A little while ago, you were saying you were looking for an assistant. Is that open still? Yes, and you have to have at least you have to be at least a thirty-four D. I thought I thought you said no women. No, oh, oh, you mean I working at the, at the studio? No, no, we're not looking for anybody at the studio. Oh, okay. I thought you said you need a personal assistant. A personal assistant doesn't work at the studio. Okay. It's personal. Okay, but that, all right, that's for ladies only? They work at my home. <laughs> Although I'm not allowed to say that. I'll just advertise that uh, we're looking at, uh, you know, it's an equal opportunity position. But then, right, when people get here and then when people get here and find out what kind of position it is, I think most of the men will uh, will turn it down. All right, well, can you take me out Kobe style, Tom? I certainly can. Oh. Oh. This is about us. Oh. She's so special to me. Oh. Yeah, it beats in my heart. Yeah, the air I breathe. She's so special to me. And remember, new clothes sold separately. Just ask for Dina. Get your free beer. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Just amazing. Uh, let's go to Athena on line one. Athena, you're on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hi, Tom. I actually never listened to Tom Like. Yeah, I've never listened to you till recently. And actually, today's the first time I listened to you from the beginning, and I think it is ridiculous. What's ridiculous? Um, well, the subject you're talking about right now. What about it? Um, it's just funny that you guys are agreeing that he is an idiot, and I agree he is an idiot. But then again, that woman did not put a gun to his head. Oh, no one's blaming the woman. Uh, I, I am blaming the guy for being stupid enough, and that's my opinion of him. He, he's just plain stupid. I don't care if he came up with Google. The, the guy was stupid to agree to get married. You've got $20 billion. There's nobody getting married to you. Exactly. Good for her. I mean, who's the one benefiting out of it? And, I mean, why do people get so upset? I mean... I don't think most people are upset at the woman. I think they're upset at him for what we consider to be a stunning lack of judgment. Thanks for the call. The Tom Likas Show.